Welcome back. A lot of us have been shopping our closets and trying to squeeze as much style as we can out of the clothes we already have. And many of us are actually finding it kind of fun. But we're always looking for ways to add a little extra style inspo, and that's why Kim Appelt is joining us right now from Vancouver to talk about an unsung hero you likely have tucked away in the back of your closet. I'm talking about the white tank. Such a versatile piece. And talking about shopping your own closet is something that you want to get in there, pull it out and make a bunch of outfits with. Because it's something that you don't need to spend money on. You should have one. And if you don't, you can go get one and make many things to wear with it. Now I love the fact that you're gonna take one white tank and do five different looks. So look number one. Okay, so look number one, I've got a tank on and I'm gonna talk a little bit about this style of tank in a minute. But look number one, I paired it with a printed skirt and a classic jean jacket. So again, a classic jean jacket is a fantastic piece that I'm sure most of you guys have in your closets, but you throw that on a classic white tank and a printed skirt, and you've really got a fantastic outfit. I'm just gonna back up a little bit so you guys can see it. But something like this is very easy. I've actually taken the tank top and I've knotted it. It gives it a little bit of an elevated style, so that's something that I like about it. Also, for body types, if you have a little bit, if you're carrying a little more weight or you're bigger in the chest, when you add a heavier or a printed bottom, uh, a printed skirt on the bottom, it actually detracts the eye. It, look, it makes everybody look at the great skirt that you have and the white tank top becomes your workhorse of the outfit. So it's a really easy piece to wear. Here is look number one, it's casual and it's cool and it's easy to do. Okay, I love it. Now look number two. For look number two, I actually have it hiding under look number one. So I'm gonna show you guys, I am going to slip off my skirt. Ta-da! So something I wanna talk about this skirt as well, you wanna look for a printed skirt with an elastic waistband, how great is that? So I'm gonna slip it off. I have on white jeans. So white jeans and a white tank is a really, really easy outfit to make. It's classic, it's clean, it's streamlined. So if you ever don't know what to put on and you wanna look like you've put it together, all white is a great thing to do. So I kept the jean jacket on, that gives us look number two. And it's just, again, you can wear it out to the barbecue, you can go to get groceries, um, even if you're just sitting around at your home. I love it. I love the fact that it's white head to toe. Um, monochrome, you're right. It always makes you look a little bit luxe. Okay, now look number three. What are we gonna do for that look? Look number three, we are going to take off the jean jacket and I'm going to grab a lace topper. So you throw something like this on. Again, we are going for the monochromatic look as well, but it's an elevated look. Something that I like about this it's just a very light piece to have on with your white tank. I love white on white in the summer. It is classic, it's clean, it's easy to wear. Something like this is fantastic to add to it. It adds a little bit of weight, a little bit of coverage if it's a little bit cool out, but not a lot. An absolute beautiful summer look. Uh, the shawl is a very nice, the cover up is a very nice go-to. Okay, so now your next look is gonna require a little bit more changing that you can't do in front of us apparently. So look number four, what do you got? So look number four, before I change into the shorts, I'm just gonna grab, this is like a little white coat. So again, I guess I've stuck with all monochromatic, but something like this, again, the white tank top, if you have to go into an office or even have a Zoom call meeting, and let's say you were walking around your house in your white tank top, now you've got a Zoom call, you could throw on some type of blazer, and again, the white tank can be dressed up and elevated as well. So it's just a really easy thing to throw on on top, showing you the easy changes that you can do with your white tank. You can do a jean jacket, you can do a blazer, you can do some sort of light topping kimono, or light topper is a fantastic piece. So just even changing the tops makes it a really versatile piece. And then I'm gonna add some shorts on the bottom for you. Let's talk a little bit about shorts. There are so many viewers that watch City Line that tell us, mostly women, they do not wear shorts. And I get it, it was years and years and years before I got back into shorts again. It's like I wore them in high school and then I didn't wear them again until after I had two kids. And the reasons why I started wearing them again is because 
I needed to get the right length and the right amount of billowy material so that, you know, they're not biker shorts. They're not short shorts. You're not seeing the under bum. I needed shorts that looked kind of good and stylish, um, but that I can still go to the playground with or to my kids, you know, soccer games. So there are shorts out there that you can wear if you feel like you're a bit bottom heavy and you don't want to be showing all of that leg jiggle those shorts exist and what kim is going to show us right now is how versatile a pair of shorts can be i know a lot of women really don't like shorts and i think that's something to and i think it's something to be okay with if you know that you don't like shorts just know that there are several different types of fabrics different cuts it doesn't have to be your standard short. And thankfully right now, the longer shorts are really trending, the Bermuda shorts. What I have on is called like a paper bag waistline. This is fantastic for anyone that has like a long lean body. It kind of gives you a waist. If you have a little bit of a tummy and you actually want to hide it, or you just don't feel comfortable in anything like anything that's tighter, these are a great pair. Something else to look for with your shorts is a lighter material. So this is kind of like a crepey linen-y short. Um, that's nice, the legs are wide, they're nice and loose. It's very classy, I can take these to the office. I can also throw it on with a blazer and a pair of heels and wear it out to a patio. So you wanna look for, when you're looking for shorts, you wanna look for something that's really versatile so that you can get more than one type of wear out of them. Thanks, Kim. Let's switch gears now.